you can't feel safe when the only thing protecting you from a car is a white painted line. In 2017, ICBC recorded 77 crashes involving bicyclists, 58 crashes involving motorcyclists, and 44 involving pedestrians in the city of Kelowna. The number of cyclist accidents doesn't surprise avid bike rider Landed Bradshaw. We don't have three separate groups out there. We have everybody trying to get somewhere. Everybody might be choosing to use a different way, but we're all trying to do the same thing. Over the five year span that the data was collected, this intersection of Harvey Avenue and Richter Street is listed as one of the most dangerous for cyclists as they saw 16 incidents in total. But the numbers do look to be improving as 2014 and 2015 saw six incidents each year, but 2017 only saw one, which was listed as not fatal. I think 2017 was a one off. We saw a death in, in 2018, we saw another death in 2019. The numbers are increasing, the population is growing. These, these are all going to get us to more collisions on the road as people get more impatient and they're trying to do things just to get somewhere. This intersection of Gordon Drive and KLO Road was amongst the worst for those on bicycles, while Harvey and Spall was amongst the worst for those on a motorcycle. And Bernard Avenue and Water Street section in downtown is the most vital for those on their feet. Each collision prone intersection had three incidents in 2017, which is the most not only in Kelowna, but the southern interior as a whole. Every day I, I ride around town and I can see road users just aren't paying attention or they're getting impatient. Collisions happen when at least one person isn't doing everything they can do to keep themselves and other people on the road safe. For a full list of incidents in your area, click on the link provided in the article below. Sarita Patel, Castanet News, Kelowna.